Treatment of acne scars with subcutaneous and intradermal adipose filling. The treatment of facial acne scars is carried out by means of several techniques. Today, a new regenerative biological technique is available. Adipose filling. This technique has been made possible by the invention of an economical disposable patented device, the adipopima. The adipopima is then activated for about 15 to 20 seconds. This maneuver creates a suspension of single living adipose and stromal cells which, when injected into the dermis, regenerate the atrophic cutaneous scar tissue. On inclining the beaker, the cells form a continuous uniform layer on the glass. The single cells once free from the inhibition of contact, secrete numerous substances that promote rooting. The syringes are then placed to stand vertically in order to separate the water from the biological material. After about 10 to 15 minutes, the lobular fragments and the cells, which are less dense than the water, rise to the surface. The lactate ringer and the glucosate solution containing insulin are eliminated. To regenerate skin with atrophic scars, living adipose and stromal cells have to be injected into the dermis. For this purpose we use a 1 ml Lualoc syringe and a 21G or 25G needle. Injecting adipocytes and stromal cells into the dermis does not have a volumetric effect, but it does exert a potent regenerative action. The cellular suspension is injected into the dermis of the entire area of atrophic scarring, not only into the individual scars. To obtain the best regenerative effect, it's advisable to inject the cellular suspension also around the area of scarring at a distance of one centimeter. The injection of adipose and stromal cells into the dermis causes momentary whitening of the skin. The cellular suspension is now injected into the dermis of the area of atrophic scarring. Injection must be carried out in the entire area marked out. In this way the regenerative capacity of the suspension is fully exploited. The result starts to become visible within a few weeks. Once the result has become stable after three or six months, a further session of intradermal cellular adipose filling is carried out. This second session uses the one milliliter Lualoc syringes left over from the previous session, which have been conserved at minus 32 degrees centigrade. The suspensions created by the adipopima acquire the property of not freezing and can be conserved in a normal laboratory freezer. This means that several adipofilling sessions can be carried out after only one session of liposuction and one session of processing the lipoaspirate with the adipopima. In conclusion, Treating acne scars with adipofilling is efficacious and minimally invasive. The possibility to repeat the treatment, as if the fat obtained were a cost-free filler, is extremely advantageous.
To access this material, you must subscribe to the crpub.org medical video journal. Subscription is free and reserved for medical doctors only.